Hello and welcome back to Get Better Not Bitter. My name is Carmen Caruso. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'd like to talk about when someone hurts us and then justifies their actions, possibly blaming you for it or just making up like, what's the big deal kind of an attitude. So let's say that you're out with your friends and like your best friends with you and you've been best friends since like the third grade. And she says something really embarrassing about you in a jokingly manner. And everybody laughs. You're mortified because you know what? I don't know. You've had a bad, bad day. It hit a nerve. You had told her something in confidence and it kind of came up in that comment. Whatever it is, it was hurtful and it, it zinged you. It hurt your feelings. So what do you do with that? Do you go talk to her? Do you ignore it? I say, go talk to her, not in front of everybody. Wait till the time is right. Approach her and address it. Say, hey, you know what? Yesterday when we were out with friends, you said this and it really hurt my feelings. And she looks at you and says, well, what's the big deal? You did something like that to me when we were in the seventh grade and it really embarrassed me and hurt my feelings. So what's the big deal that I did that now? First of all, you're not in the seventh grade anymore. You're both adults. And second of all, you're talking about the thing that just happened. I would simply say, you know what? We're talking about what happened last night, not what happened in seventh grade. If you'd like to talk about seventh grade, we can do that at a later date. But right now we're talking about this. So let's keep her on task. Number one, stay on the subject that you are directed and headed to. And that is the fact that she said something that really hurt your feelings. And... A lot of times people just, they want to avoid it because they're like, ah, I know I did something that wasn't so nice and it really hurt your feelings and I probably didn't mean it, but hey, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just gloss over it. And you're left like hurt even more. So it's like, come on. You need to be validated and talking it out with them is how you're going to get that. And if you see that the conversation is going south, you can simply state how you feel and just say, you know what, you really hurt my feelings and I'm really upset with you. Um, I'm not getting through to you. I can see that. So I'm going to talk to you about this later. I got to go. I got to be away from you and just turn around and walk away because you don't have to stay there listening to it and getting hurt on top of hurt, invalidated on top of being hurt. It doesn't feel good. It actually makes it worse. I know I've been there before and I don't like to be the person who hurts anybody and I don't like to be the person who gets hurt. But I tell you what, when you get hurt and then you go to talk to them about it and they invalidate you, it just hurts so much worse. It's like, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. Your friend made a mistake and now they don't want to own up to it. So you can also just remember you can only control you. You don't control other people. You just control you. You did the right thing by approaching your friend and confronting them about it and doing it in a civilized, respectful manner. Because if you go in just balls to the wall, pissed off, you're probably going to get zero, negative zero. People are not going to be receptive to it. Taking that time to cool off and then approaching them is the best route. Um, or just simply saying to them, if you uh, are really upset, saying, you know what, you really made me mad. That really hurt my feelings. And I can't talk to you about it right now, but we're going to talk about this. And then taking the time to cool off, collect your thoughts, and then come back to it. And or, you know, in that time that you're taking away, you could also go to another friend and say, hey, you know what? So-and-so hurt me. So I really need some advice on how to handle this situation. There's nothing wrong with seeking advice in order to work through the problem. Um, just make sure that the person that you're looking at for advice is someone that you can trust and it's not going to make things worse because we all have had those friends that she told me this and she told me that and now the two of you are at odds because the third party was playing devil's advocate and stirring the pot. We don't like that. So um, Another thing to keep in mind is just taking the time to 
meditate. When you're going to cool off and maybe your mind is just racing and you're renting space like you would not believe to that person and that incident in your head and you're ruminating on it, boy, oh boy, just taking some time to center yourself, to meditate, to calm, and to gather your emotions together and say, you're okay. It's okay to feel the way that you feel, but you know what? My emotions are di in indicators. <laughs> Let me start that again. Emotions are indicators. They are not dictators of our, of our behavior. So keeping that in mind in your meditations will help keep you centered so they don't take over and you go running off and doing something that you're going to regret later. So just meditating is a wonderful tool to have in that toolbox when you're dealing with these tender, hard, so uncomfortable topics like addressing somebody who hurts your feelings. Because, you know, let's be honest, that's vulnerability, man. Like for me, my go-to is to be mad. Well, what happened right before I was mad? Oh, I got my feelings hurt. And that's really what I need to talk about and not sit there in my anger umbrella and stew about it and just let the anger be my front. No, I need to talk about that hurt. So chances are you do too. Hopefully you're going to have a willing audience that's going to listen to you. And if they don't, it's that's tough. But at the same time, taking the steps to stand up for yourself, to move forward and say, hey, you know what? What you said and what you did was really hurtful. That should make you feel good straight away because you are standing up for you. And that's important because nobody else is going to do it except for you. That's how you build you up. So you stand up for yourself. And it doesn't matter if you told her secret or whatever in the, in the seventh grade. That's not the point. That's like saying, you interrupted me, so I'm interrupting you. That's, that's what children do. We're adults here. So I, I don't know if you guys run into that a lot, but I know I do. A lot of times people just, well, you did this. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's right. And we all grow up. We all make mistakes and hopefully you learn from them. Um, another um, thing that I personally like to do is to write letters. Maybe I'll get it all straightened out in my head and then I'll sit down and I'll write it down. Just write it out. Get all my feelings. It'll help. It, it really helps me to articulate my feelings and I can go back and edit it. And sometimes I don't even need to take the letter to the person especially if they're not hearing me. Um, I just need to put it down there and be like, that's how I feel. This is what happened. I didn't make it up, and I'm not being a big baby. I, it's like I'm validating myself because ultimately you, it's not a perfect world, and we're not always going to run into those situations where people are going to want to hear how they hurt us. Um, I run into a lot where you just get the excuses. What? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? You really hurt my feelings. That's what the big deal is. It's really hurtful to be treated as if your feelings are insignificant simply because deep down they know what they did was hurtful and they're just avoiding facing it because they don't like conflict. Well, then don't say mean things to people. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Try that in the human race because we all know that that is not going to happen. So when it does happen, just know that standing up for yourself, keeping a cool, calm head, taking that time to cool down and gather your thoughts, and then addressing it with the person, whether they want to hear it or not, addressing it and saying, hey, I need to talk to you about this. Um, it builds better relationships. It builds your self-confidence. It is just a healthy practice altogether. And even if they don't want to hear it, guess what? you still get to say it. You can write it out. You can meditate it. You don't want to rent the space into your head. So there are just those ways to cope with it and kick it out. So I hope that helped. I know it's helped me in the past and I have uh, several friends that use the same techniques that it's helped them as well. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. 
Um, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell button um, for future videos and notifications. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. It's always wonderful to see you. Um, and remember, you can get better, not bitter, and thrive. Bye.